What is good? What is happening? What is going on? It's Jelani McCoy. This is the official McCoy podcast. No Coast and Officialize are bringing this to you along with myself. This will be the week and recap. Let's get straight into it because I don't have a whole lot of time to be playing around today. LeBron James spoke up for the first time about being a Los Angeles Laker, said it was a dream come true, and one of his goals is to bring a championship to the Los Angeles Lakers. This should make your day. LeBron James saying that this is a dream come true is a dream come true for Lakers fans. A lot of times when you get a lot of superstar players in the back half of their careers, latter third, however you want to look at it, they are pretty burnt out and they're usually coming to Los Angeles to sow their wild oats if they still have those to make a couple business connections before they transition off into retirement but lebron james has done a good job of staying ahead of the game as far as business wise and is with his philanthropy so this is a good thing any Le- new lebron james that the lakers fans are hearing is a good thing um uh Just bringing the championship to the Lakers. LeBron James bringing the championship back to the Lakers is good for basketball. It's good for sports. It's always good for sports when our relevant teams, the Lakers, the Yankees, the the whoever it is, all of our teams, the the Patriots, whoever wins champions, it's always good for sports when those teams are relevant. And there is always a void in the universe when the purple and gold isn't, isn't successful and hasn't been for a long time. So shout out to LeBron James. He's out in Los Angeles at his kids' AU games. He's taking dinners with Al Pacino and Leonardo DiCaprio. He's still working on his philanthropy. So this is this is what being a Laker is all about. If we follow Magic Johnson, who uh, who uh, and the same right as a philanthropist and done so much through with the community while being a Laker and post career. So he's following right in the lines of our traditional Lakers. Shaq, who used to have the big Shaq giveaway every Christmas where he went to Toys R Us and gave away toys to kids and not just little toys. We're talking about PlayStations, remote control cars, Hot Wheels, the big Hot Wheels, the big Power Wheels, excuse me. So being a Laker, being a superstar in Los Angeles, it comes at a price and it comes with a lot of responsibility. Who else better to hold that responsibility than LeBron James? That's a good thing. Training camps have started for the NFL camps. I'm pretty sure all the NFL teams have checked in. My San Francisco 49ers have all checked in the camp. I think Richard Sherman is clear to continue activity, so he's progressing from a Achilles tendon. Jimmy Garoppolo is in the news for being uh, being out on a date with Kiara Mira, a porn star. Not a good look. I don't think he's a married man. So, excuse me, it's not a bad look. It's not a good look, but it's not a bad look. And that is his business at the end of the day. As long as he took care of the check and did everything he was supposed to do as a gentleman, he did himself he did himself a good job. So training camps are started. Uh, hopefully, with, with the good news with training camps, we haven't had a lot of injuries. A couple of injuries on the first day, but I feel like in the last couple of years, a lot of players, a lot of star players were getting hurt on the first, second day of training camp, if they were there at all. We still have a couple of non-signings uh, in training camp. The Jets quarterback, Sam Darnold, there's some language in his contract that has, you know, got some red lines in there, so he's chosen not to sign. The Jets are still going through it with their quarterback status. But for the most part, the NFL has been looking good. OBJ's back to work, which is always a good thing. I love wide receivers. Julio Jones has c- decided to show up to camp and – fulfill his obligations so everything on the training camps front are looking good no major injuries last major signing uh, the guy hasn't signed in the Sam Darnold the major league baseball had their hall of fame ceremony some of the uh some of the invitees not invitees inductees some of the inductees Chipper Jones Trevor Hoffman San Diego Padre Jack Morris Jim Tomei Alan Trammell Vladimir Guerrero I'm a big Vlad fan. It's good to see that Vlad is getting his dues from the Montreal Expos to the Los Angeles Angels. Uh, He's putting in a lot of work, uh, kept his nose clean for the most part, and provided a sense of joy to baseball and being a good representative for his country. Everybody, if you love baseball, you got to be rolling with Chipper Jones. Chipper Jones played for 80 years. Yeah, Chipper Jones played for 80 years with Mickey Mantle. 
and a couple of other players, Babe Ruth. No, I'm just kidding. Chipper Jones has played for a long time, and he's been uh, productive for a long time. And he has some Braves and some World Series. He pretty much held the Braves down over the last couple of years. No, Brian? Yeah, you got to be happy for Chipper Jones. He deserves it. Of course, Trevor Hoffman, one of the things the Padres got right. <laughs> Trevor Hoffman, congratulations. Jim Tomey, a baller. Jim Tomey's been a baller on different teams, and always ha I've always been a fan of Jim Tomey as well. What else is going on for the weekend? LeBron James opened up that academy that he so ever so promised to do in Akron, Ohio, where he gave over 200 at-risk third and fourth graders a chance to get an education and be exposed to some of the different things that he's been exposed out to outside of Akron, Ohio. So shout out, continue shout out to LeBron James for upping his GOAT status and leaving his footprint on the world, not only as an athlete, but as a philanthropist, as a father. Uh, all the nonsense about him taking the shine away from his kid AAU games needs to spot needs to stop. When else are we gonna kids are gonna get a chance to see the best player in the world in their environment? Um, Dak Prescott standing up for his boss Jerry Jones, saying that he won't be kneeling for the national anthem. Well, newsflash: Dak Prescott, everybody else, or not everybody else, but a couple more of your colleagues and counterparts will be protesting that flag. So does that mean you're not on the side of the players? Are you only on the Dallas Cowboys side, on the Jerry Jones side? We need answers, Dak. You know what I mean? You have a big responsibility as the quarterback for America's team. Let's hope you make do the right by America by leading young men and women of all shapes and sizes and colors not just worried about their bottom line or being the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Let's be the quarterback for all of America on and off the field. That's pretty much my weekend recap. Not a lot going on in sports except football players not banging in their heads or not losing season injuring injuries. Basketball is on hiatus right now. Everybody's talking about LeBron James. We'll be always talking about LeBron James on this podcast until somebody else steps up and knocks him off from the topic of conversation. Hope you had a good weekend. This has been the Weekend Recap. I'm Jelani McCoy. Always shout out to No Coast and Officialize. And please continue to support us across all the various podcast platforms. I'm Jelani McCoy. This has been the Weekend Recap.